Hello nerds, thank you for watching Generally Nerdy. This is your Week in Nerddom comic books edition for the week of July the 23rd, 2018. Uh, this week we've got updates from San Diego Comic-Con and other stuff that's really awesome. Let's jump into the intro. Quiet on the set, rolling. Hi, I am Bitsy Tellick. Hey, I'm Hale Appleman. I'm Walter Kane. I'm Rene Aubergenois. Odo on Deep Space Nine. Michael Dorn, Lieutenant Commander Worf, Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, come and see me and hear me and talk to me and listen to me talk about myself. Hey man, this is Kevin Smith, often considered generally nerdy, and you are listening to what is often considered generally nerdy. On Generally Nerdy. Yeah. You're listening to... Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Before we jump into the news, guys, let's jump into this week's sponsor. Again, this week is going to be sponsored by Mercari as well as Poshmark because we are selling all of the things that we are trying to slim down. Uh, collections, mostly clothes. Uh, and I, by mostly, I mean all clothes. But <laughs> check out the links in the description for the Mercari. And you seeing this, the pictures cycling here next to my head. Mercari and Poshmark. Both are our sponsors this week. Check them out, buy some stuff. Uh, we're, we, there's definitely some nerdy stuff up there. Just sold the, nin the Ninja Turtles belt. Uh, just uh, it's been selling some, some all kinds of stuff. So check it out again over in the links down in the description. And now let's jump into the news. First thing for comic book news this week, guys, we're talking about X-Men Black announced today at San Diego Comic-Con. Uh, this is going to be a collection of five one-off books that are effectively dealing with primary antagonists for the X-Men. Uh, we're talking Magneto, Mystique, Mojo, Emma Frost, and the Juggernaut, which at least Two of those in the comic books have been kind of gray area, not really black and white villains, but somewhere morally in between, a little more ambiguous. Um, Juggernaut even has moments, but specifically uh, Magneto and Emma Frost. Emma Frost was the leader of the school for a while, though I might be confusing it with the Ultimate Universe. I don't remember. Anyway, uh, so we've got... Each of the supervillains is going to appear in their own book. It's, again, five one-offs. We have the writer for Magneto is veteran X-Men writer Chris Claremont. We have Sean McGuire doing Mystique. Mojo is going to be helmed by Scott Ackerman. And Juggernaut is going to be Robbie Thomas. Magneto is going to be interesting in that it's going to converge with the Emma Frost book and so the Emma Frost book is also going to converge with Magneto uh, because their climaxes are dependent upon each other because right now Magneto is mentoring the X-Men Blue Squad which is just the old X-Men time displaced into current times which is very interesting um, hopefully Marvel is going to start picking it up a little bit uh, and then we've got I mean it's it's Check the description. I go into a lot more detail down in the description. I yeah I'm, I'm this will very likely be a series of books that I grabbed from Marvel I haven't been super excited about Marvel stuff recently This is one of them and the next one is our next bit of news Which is the uncanny X-Men the original X-Men story the original X-Men uh, series is coming back um, granted, when it first started, it was not called Uncanny. It wasn't until the 90s that they put the Uncanny... It was like 93 that they put the Uncanny at the beginning of it. But it was effectively still the same series. It was still the same set of books. Um, and this is the, the series that really got everyone who's into Marvel, or everyone who's currently about my age and reads comic books, really got you into the, the Marvel side of things, was this book series. Um, so it's really awesome that it's going to be making a return, but because it's making its return, we know that uh, X-Men Blue and X-Men Gold are both going to be leaving. They're not going to be continuing past book number 36 on each side. So uh, it, it, I feel like this might be a sign of course correction. Might be. I'm, I'm Again, I'm not super holding my breath, but X-Men Black and Uncanny X-Men are two things I will check out to see if the uh, course correction is happening. Otherwise, I'm just not going to read Mar Marvel ever again. 
And then our last two bits are DC, and they're both kind of Joker bits. Uh, I'll elaborate. The first one is Three Jokers is going to be the name of the book. You're actually seeing the art right about here on the screen right now. Uh, Jeff Johns announced at San Diego Comic-Con that he and Jason Fabic, 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 whatever, um, are are finally going to be getting into this plot device that they unveil un, un, that they revealed I was trying to say two different words at once that they revealed back in 2015 it's going to be a three book arc um and i mean that kind of makes sense right because there's three jokers uh but they're going to once and for all tell us what the hell that means uh, who the three jokers are the artwork indicates that we have uh, it looks like we have one from killing joke we have one from death in the family and then we have one the one that snyder's been writing recently that ended with endgame um it, it, because as of rebirth joker has really not been around that much so very interesting definitely going to be it's three issues who can't afford three freaking comic books i don't make much money i've maybe 30 bucks in the bank right now so and i can afford three freaking comic books so this is definitely something that's worth checking out and then our last quasi bit of joker news is actually the batman who laughs it is also getting its own miniseries and it's going to start in november <laughs> So it's happening very, very soon. I couldn't find a date for the three Jokers. It had just been announced, I believe, yesterday. So Saturday, this past Saturday. And yeah, uh, yeah. Batman Who Laughs is getting a miniseries. I believe it's going to be five issues, though I could be wrong. And it's going to introduce us to another dark version of Batman. It's going to show us effectively the Bat Punisher. But they can't call it that because DC and not Marvel, blah, blah, blah. So, it, yeah, I, this is going to be definitely a miniseries that I check out. But that is the end of comic books this week, guys. What did I miss? I know there's bound to be something because Comic-Con is happening right now, right? So what did I miss? What should we talk about next week? Let me know in the comments down low. If, though, you want to go deeper in the conversation, jump over to the website, generallynerdy.net. That is the place that you can go find the links to get your nerdy swag, social media links that you can converse with me that way. You can find freebies on the website, uh, things that I've written that I just put up there for the heck of it, um, on, and, and links to everything up on generallynerdy.net. That is the place to go for all of your Generally Nerdy needs. And there is also a Patreon if you decide you want to support the channel a little more directly. Patreon.com slash Generally Nerdy is the place to do that. Uh, four tiers. The lowest tier is just a dollar a month, which effectively doubles your content that you get. So check it out. Patreon.com slash Generally Nerdy. If you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button. If you like this episode, click the like button. If you're falling behind on your nerd news and you want to catch up, click or tap that box right there to the left of my face to do that. But before you go, always, always remember that if it's generally nerdy, it's probably here. <laughs>